The uh, paper that I gave you earlier today yes. on Northwest Ordinance of 1787. And this is the only law that was passed under the Articles of Confederation. I'll be outside for just a second. I'm coming back. Okay. Oh, sorry, please. First thing we're going to do is going to label the state and some other physical features. It's Monday. We'll do maps, so you'll do a little map assessment here at the end. First things first, right here, find this location on your map where I'm pointing to. I'm touching Wisconsin. Okay, you can do WI for short in the map. This is where Wisconsin is at. Mr. Blunis. Yes, ma'am. Do you think I'm going to remember this when I'm like 30? No. Let's say Maybe if you're trying to cross the country with your kids, you'll know where Wisconsin is next to Great Lakes. It's okay. so this is Wisconsin, WI for short. All right, moving here. This is Michigan. It's in two places. It's divided by Lake Michigan. This is Michigan. This is Michigan. Two spots for Michigan. What's the substitute for Michigan? Just put M-I. Y-M-I if you want. Y for Wisconsin, my for Michigan. Okay? Michigan, Wisconsin. And then you have three on the bottom. I'm talking, not you, please. Three on the bottom. Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. I-L-N-O. Illinois, no, I can't say it. Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Because I took the math question. Yeah, but that's what I All right. We're all good. Now. There's also some other features I need you to label on this map. So look, this is actually the Mississippi River down here. That means this western border of Illinois and the western border of Wisconsin is Mississippi River as well. So please label this western edge as the Mississippi River. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 I just like it. Mississippi River right there, okay? Yippee skippy. All right. And then I need you to label the southern border of Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois. All of this is the Ohio River. It dumps into the Mississippi River, which goes all the way down to New Orleans. The Mississippi starts up here in Minnesota and makes its way all the way to New Orleans. But this is Mississippi River, and this is the Ohio River. Okay, you with me? Mm -hmm. All right. Francisco, take your hmm, right hand and do this. Okay, a little bit lower, though. Mm -hmm. All the way further back. There you go. Right behind his hand is a little squiggly line. Show him that squiggly line real quick, Lazar. There you go. All right, come back to this. You're going to put a squiggly, wavy line like that through Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois. Put a little squiggly line there. It squiggled. And then right above it, right above it, you put a second squiggly line. Okay? And. You can also put one in southern Michigan what? and one in southern Wisconsin. There, there's a lake that separates them. I'm sorry, southern Michigan, southern Wisconsin. Put a little squiggly line. Okay? Oh, I All of this where my hand is is what you're trying to mark with squiggly lines. All of this where my hands are. Because this is called the Ohio River Valley. It's bordered by Ohio River and... Uh, Mississippi River and Great Lakes. It's the Ohio River Valley. Very rich, fertile farmland. What are the resources that allow the soil to totally regenerate so frequently? What allows the soil to stay so fertile to regenerate? The Great Lakes are a huge source of sedimentary material. What else? What's this called again? The Ohio River, what's this one called again? Mississippi, Mississippi. Mississippi River. What do rivers frequently do after a lot of rain? Water. Oh, they flood. They flood. Also, you can have a lot of snowfall. 
which is quite common. Yeah. All the snow melts, it moves sediment, dirt around, it, it, it revitalizes the soil. Okay? So, you've got these regions here that we filled in. Are you with me? Yeah. Ohio River Valley is what people forget about when they're taking this map activity. Uh -oh. It's all of this. It's the Ohio River Valley. All right, now you got some fill in the blanks at the bottom. Yeah. Hi, you're still largely blank. Let's uh, put the drawings away and let's do this. All right. Start with a little letter here from the Continental Congress. And it says, Dear Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio, you are a blank. They want to become a state, but before they can become a state, what do they have to be first? Territory. Territory. The word is spelled up there on the board. Oh. There's territory. Can you know how to spell it? Terra with two R's, I Tory. You are a territory. American citizens may come settle in your land. They will not have representation in the Continental Congress. They will not have representation in the Continental Congress. Why? That is mean. Because they're what? They're not a state. Only states have representation in the Continental Congress. You're a territory. What do they want to become, though? A state. They want to become a state. Hmm, in a minute we'll find out what the steps are. Where does the Continental Congress meet at during the time of the Articles of Confederation? Philadelphia. Say it again. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Go right down and spell it there. Yeah, Continental yeah. Congress that meets in Philadelphia. Then we'll get our Constitution. Where do we move our capital to then? Virginia. Dun, 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 dun. Virginia. New York. New York. New York. But Hampton needs to get his plans through, and we'll find out why we come up with a new capital city and then go for our first break. But that's not, we're not there yet. Okay? What? Richmond wasn't ever the capital. It was a Confederate capital, it was not a Union capital. All right. They will not have representation in the Congress that meets in Philadelphia. Each territory will be served by a governor appointed by the Continental Congress. You will have to provide basic rights like, there's a poster up here, freedom of speech, jury trials, standard election procedures, no unwarranted searches, and so forth. You'll provide basic rights to all your settlers. Here's the big thing. What about slavery? Will not. No. Is not permitted. No. Is not. Slavery is not permitted. You can apply for statehood when you achieve a population of how many people? 60,000. I would check that post up there again. My guy can do it. 60,000. 60, comma, zero, zero, zero. Free settlers. And once you have 60,000 settlers, you will have equal footing with the blank states at that time. With the original states. You'll be just the same. Even though you came along later, you have equal standing. What is this law called again? Northwest Ordinance. And it is number one of how many laws passed by the Articles of Confederation. One of Number one of one. one. Only one law was passed by the by the Articles of Federation. All right, and it says in that next paragraph, this is only law passed by the Articles of Federation, and it's in the year 1787 when the Constitutional Convention will convene in Philadelphia to replace the Articles of Federation. Things the Continental Congress could do, it could make treaties. For instance, the Treaty of Paris, 1783. When we signed out with England, what did we get in the Treaty of Paris, 1783? Freedom. Or what's another word we independence. call it? Or independence. independence. England recognized our independence and said, you're no longer a colonist, you're free. All right. If only it was if, that simple. If we can make treaties to end wars, what else can we do with this Congress? Start, Start wars, wars to begin with. So cool. Okay, so maybe the Indians will get us going. The British 
never withdraw their army from these areas that were starting to settle. They're supposed to go to Canada, but they're still British armies in Michigan and Ohio. And that's only a hop, skip, and his throw across the Appalachian Mountains, and they're back into our territories. We might have to go to war with England again. We'll see. It creates a post office system, the Articles of Federation. We can get mail from Georgia all the way to New Hampshire, and we can even go west in the territories. Uh, real quick, back to your map. This is Ohio right here. What state is this next to it? From the original 13. <laughs> Pennsylvania. This is Pennsylvania. We're talking states, not individual colonies or cities. What's right above Pennsylvania? Great big state has a Long Island on it. New York. So label Pennsylvania, New York, so you have a little context for where you're at. Don't label these. This would be Maryland. Forget West Virginia. There's no West Virginia. There's only Virginia, and it's going all the way out to here. But we'll make some other states down there later. When? All right. Things the Articles of Federation could not do. Sounds rather important. What can it not do? What? Don't yell me, Shaka. Cannot what? Run a country. Run a country. It cannot run a country. All right. That's good. Thank you, Elijah. 